Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a 2.5 inch SSD in your Predator laptop, the Helios 300. And here I'll be installing the Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, it's probably one of the best SSDs for 2.5 inch SATA drives that you can get. And uh, the system comes with a M.2 SSD already installed and the drive bay for the two and a half inch drive is empty and actually I think in examples bought recently that would be in like August, September of 2017 they don't come with this cable or the bracket to hold a drive into the system so you have to actually have to call Acer and have them deliver that but they do it free of charge and it took about a week for them to get the cable and the adapter uh, delivered to my house. So basically I'll get started. You basically have to take off the entire back cover so that you can install the cable. Uh, if it already had the cable installed then there's just a little door at the back which I'll show you. But since it didn't come with the cable or the bracket you actually have to remove the entire back panel which is something like 16 screws. But I'll show you that in a second. So this is the back of the laptop. As you can see, there are two access panels, one for the hard drive and one for the memory. They both open up with just one screw, so that's very easy. And so you just unscrew this panel to one screw. And then you pry open the panel from the corner. Make sure you don't lose the screw. Here you see the panel, and if you bought the laptop earlier in the year, you might have already had the caddy and the cable, which comes through here. But if that's missing, you have to install the cable, which stalls on a header down here, and the cable actually then fits through there. And then you install the hard drive into the little caddy and then the caddy screws down to the motherboard and then you hook the cable up to the, this part right here so basically line the holes up put the screws in now the screws that you need to mount this actually came with your laptop or should have and they'd be in a little packet inside the AC adapter box so hopefully you didn't throw that away and notice that they were there. If not, you could always just get their little hard drive laptop screws. You get them at say Home Depot or a computer shop or even order them online. But first, before even doing that, you have to take all the screws all the way around in the front here and pry the bottom, the back panel off. So just go around and I'll screw those and I'll show, once you get all the screws out, how to take the back panel off and then how to proceed from there. Okay, so once you get all the screws out and loosened up, all around the sides and a few in the middle, start prying from the back corner. That's in there pretty tight, so you're going to have to be careful and pry it gradually, but eventually the back will come off. Make sure you don't lose any screws. And there you have the inside of your laptop. You see here you have your RAM. This is where your SSD is located. 
and this is where you have to route the cable through. Okay, so once you have it open, the header is right over here where it connects. It is basically it's part of the cable, and you should see that the connector goes this way with the smaller part on the right and the larger part of the SATA cable on the left. And it's basically cable has a connector, so it just goes straight down onto the header to the connector. So I'll show it, do it like this. Just make sure you get the cable out of the way. This it over top and then press down until it clicks in place and then make sure this cable will fit with the spot. So when the cover goes down, that the cable will be free and you'll be able to hook up the hard drive. So now you just snap the back cover back in place and then I'll come back and show how to hook up the hard drive and finish installing it and closing up the laptop. Okay, once you have the back cover back on and the screws all tight, cable should be coming through here now. So you take your drive and it's caddy and make sure that it's oriented this way with the silver on top. And you can see that the connector lines up with the cable. So you slide it on. And then you kind of push the cable back in the side there. And then you slide the drive down into its spot. And then you install your screws. One up here, three in the corners. Okay, once you have the hard drive installed into the laptop, you might be missing the screws to actually secure it to the laptop. The screws that come with the laptop are for putting the hard drive into the caddy. Those four screws, but then you have the screws to attach it to the frame. They're actually smaller. Uh, I had a I had to search around, I went to Home Depot and a few different places looking for the screws and couldn't find them and found them online and the size that you want are called M2 times 3 or by 3 and you can see the ones I got here, I actually got a kit of all kinds of different laptop screws. There's these ones in the top corner here, M2 times 3 and they are very small. M2 is sort of the head size and then the Times three is how long it is, so that's three millimeters. Let's see if we get that to focus. So it's a very small screw. But I will leave links in the description, both where I got the kit that I got, plus uh, slightly cheaper kits that only include a few screws. Uh, the kit I bought actually has 500 screws total. But that's a little bit of overkill if all you're going to do is install a hard drive in this one laptop. The links provided below in the description are my affiliate links to Amazon, which means that I get a little bit of money if you purchase the screws through those links, uh, which really helps me out and helps me to create more videos like this. So I'd really appreciate that. But you can get them anywhere you find them. Just make sure that they're the M2 times 3. So here you just take the little screws and put them in the four spots here and I'll show you how to screw these in. Now be careful when putting them in, make sure you don't drop them inside the chassis because then you have to take the whole back off again and you might even have to remove the motherboard to find the screw again. So I'll just stop here with putting two in, put two more in the other corners. Then the hard drive will be secure into the laptop and you'll be good to go and close it back up again. And once you've done that, put the cover back on. And 
put the laptop cover back on. And then you're good to go. Then I'll show you in the next part what to look for in the BIOS. To make sure the drive is being seen. And also how to set it up in Windows so that your that Windows can see it. Okay, once you have the hard drive installed and the back all buttoned up, come get ready to turn your laptop on and power it on and immediately start hitting the F2 function key. So this one right here, just keep on tapping it and you'll eventually get up to the BIOS and then you can see if the hard drive is correctly installed. So hit the power button and then just hit F2, 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 F2. Here you can see that it's recognized a drive as hard drive one. And it says Samsung SSD 850 Evo one terabyte. So it's been successfully installed. Now you can just back out. So just hit escape. And then select yes. And then you get into the computer and I'll show you how to have the drive recognized once you're in Windows, and this is with Windows 10. Okay, once you boot into Windows, this is Windows 10. If you go to my PC or this PC, you notice that only the original hard drive showing up. This is the M.2 drive that was already in the system. So you actually have to go into the hard disk management. So I'll come in here, type in hard. Once you start typing, it already shows up here. So you click on that. And here you can see that it already recognized the disk. So just kind of look over these, but the default should be fine. And it'll show disk one because it's the second disk. The first disk is zero, the second disk is one. So click OK. See here that Windows sees it, but it hasn't actually formatted it yet. And you want to right click on it and choose New Simple Volume. And you'll have a wizard here. Click Next. Now it's going to ask you what size volume you want. You have the maximum, which is the max, maximum available to drive. And then you have the minimum you can make it. So just take the default, which is the maximum. Click Next. Now it's going to ask you to sign a drive letter. So my main drive was C, so D is fine since this laptop doesn't come with a optical drive. Just click Next. And you're going to want to format it NTFS. And you can give it a volume label if you want. I'm going to call it 850 Evo. And have it form a quick format and then click next and then click finish it will create the drive and it'll do a quick format now you can see that I have the new hard drive here and if I go back to this PC you can see that's available in the file manager and it's showing as 931 gigabytes formatted so if we found this useful for installing a two and a half inch hard drive into your Acer Predator Helios 300 laptop and thank you for watching.